Hey guys, Handy Camper here. Welcome to part two for my truck camper top, camper shell, truck camper topper, cap, build. So uh, you guys stick around, let's see what we do. Alright guys, since my last video, I've got the, uh, put my truck, my bed liner in and had it professionally sealed. And then I got my passenger side window, uh, fixed. It had a bad leak and the seal was uh, dry rotted a little bit in that. So uh, we got that fixed. And now we're drying here and ready to get building on the, uh, the uh, camper building here for, uh, for camping and stuff. And my idea I got a couple two by fours I'm gonna to measure to put from here to here on the back and the same in the front. And then I'll either get a pleat two pieces of separate two separate pieces of plywood so at least two people can sleep on each side, or I'll do one piece of plywood over here, uh, about about the probably about uh, about right here, give or take, you know. Uh, one person can sleep here and then and then like my little one can sleep right here on the, in the bed of the truck. I'm either going to do two pieces of uh, plywood, one on each side, and have a like a little hall in the middle there so you can get up in there really easy. Place in the middle of your feet. And then um, if me and the wife and the little one go, the little one can sleep in the middle in between there. And uh, one person on each side. So you guys stick around and um, we'll see how we get this thing going. Alright guys, I've got an old 2 by 4 I'm going to try to recycle as much materials as I can um, and as you can tell this sucker is bowed but that's all right if I put it with a bow up maybe after laying on it after a while it'll, <laughs> it'll bow back down maybe but I'm gonna measure I measured uh, 61 and a half inches is what I need so I'm gonna measure this guys mark it and we'll get it cut All right, 61 and a half. I like to put a couple more little notches on there, guys. It ain't got to be perfect. I'll put a couple more on there. A couple more spots. Awesome. And I'll make it a little past the uh, lines I made to be make sure it's long enough. I can always cut some off if I need to. So, all right, got that, guys. Let's get that cut. I had to make it a little darker so I <laughs> don't cut on these lines over here. This used to be an old ladder. That I had. All right, guys, stick around. Safety first. Not as clean as I wanted it to be, <laughs> but it ain't got to be perfect. It's got to fit in that slot, guys. So let's go. Uh, come on with me. Let's go put it in there and see if it fits. Let's see if I measured correctly. Like a glove. 
perfect. Now we'll do one more for the front, guys, and we'll have the uh, we'll have that done. Let's see how that looked. The piece of wood will go right above it without that fender wheel being too high. Or if I have to do like a two by six there instead. But we'll find out, guys. It's a whole part of the process. A whole part of the fun. Stick around. Well, doggone it, guys. I guess it's better to uh, measure six times to get it right. But uh, the back one fit perfect. I don't know if the bed liner was pushed up over here or what, but I am about a half inch to an inch shy on the top one here. The back one fits perfect. Well, at least I'll have a straighter one for the back. Now I gotta go get another 2 by 4 Whew, it's getting hot in here. I should have measured that front one again. Well, I say again, I didn't even measure it the first time. I measured this back one, thinking they would both be the same, but whew, I was wrong. And man, it's getting hot in here. Well, at least I got, uh, a straighter one for the back and uh, have to measure that front window we need about an inch more so 62 and a half uh, too bad I don't have another old 2x4 hmm I guess I could probably rig something up to make it work but I'd rather it fit right so I guess I'll have to go get another 2x4 guys and uh, figure if I'm going to use white pine for the for the uh, boards to go across or a piece of plywood or two so <sighs> y'all stick around for the fun and I did try the uh, backboard that I cut first just on the front to see I don't know why in the world sitting here looking at it how in the world that one's I guess it yeah now that I'm looking at it <clears throat> it's other end up front for some reason or other but Let's go get a new 2x4, guys. I need one 2x4 and either some plywood or I'm thinking white pine, whichever one's cheaper. Uh, white pine will work just fine if I put some brace possibly in the uh, under the middle to hold up the middle so it won't sag. It'll be held up by the fender wheel a little bit. And then uh, maybe some other little brace underneath. Maybe a, a crate would fit underneath there. I think I've seen a video where a guy put some uh, milk crates underneath his for support. And it seemed to have worked. So, uh, whew, it's hot. Hot one today, boys. But um, we'll talk at you soon. Stick around, guys. All right, guys. This is the moment of truth. The moment of truth. My first boards I cut at 61 and a half. So I went ahead and done, uh, it was just a little bit off, so I done uh, uh, 62 and a quarter. And I figured if it was needed more cut off, I would cut some off. But I think that's going to work just right. So let's, let's check it out and see. All right, guys, just perfect. That's not coming out. And I probably could have went ahead and done... Uh, just a little bit more, maybe just a hair bit longer if I wanted to, but that's going to work. All right, guys, let's get this together and see what it looks like. All right. Got those two in. Cut. Now, I'll show you what I got to put over that. Be right back. All right, guys, these are the boards I chose to... These are the white pine. It's, um... It is 12 by 1... By six foot so I'll get these in there guys and then show you what that looks like be right back all right guys there it is as of right now let me get you turned around where you can see it all right guys there we go that's what I've got so far that's just the uh, the main idea that I had uh, you have to overlook this blanket. This is what I use to when I haul stuff. It's easy to pull stuff from the front to back, but just the main support beams here. And then I can make 
something to put right in the middle there to keep it from bowing. If it does, um, I think I could put like a, uh, a, ba a milk crate. I think will work, but we'll see. But that's what I got so far on this part two, guys. So uh, stick around to see what else I do. Um, I know me and the little one, little mini camper, I'm going to go test it out before too long. I'll take a weekend and go camping up here in the mountains before too long. So uh, now it's starting to cool off a little bit. It was actually hot today, but it's cooling off. So, Whew, it's a hot one today, guys. I think I already said that a few times, but it sure is. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you sticking around. Um, stay tuned for more videos just like this, because I'll be messing around with the, the camper shell uh, modifications uh, until I get it right. So uh, I appreciate you guys watching part two, and uh, stay tuned for the next one. And as always, plan, prepare, and practice. Handy out. Safety first.